Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTicks.com. We're going to kick off 2022 with a Kickstarter project in this vanilla looking box. That's the thing about Kickstarter. These things don't really exist yet, but they're prototypes up to the point where somebody like me can show you a working sample and then you can jump in if you're interested and pick up one of these units pre-production at a really low price. And we introduced this a little bit right around New Year's Day. I'm going to go a little deeper into it now. Still not far enough to know a whole lot because it's still a work in progress. But it's something that's very interesting and it might be an additional thing for your health portfolio. Go along with all these other smart watches and gadgets and gadgets that do blood pressure and blood oxygen and heart rate and ECG and... Well, none of them do this. Here it is. Inside here looks like a little flute. This is a spirometer. Um, yeah, that's the fancy name. A spirometer is a device that you blow air into and it will measure things about your lungs. This particular gadget is called the Breathe Through uh, because that's exactly what you do. You put your lips around here. It's got a couple of exhaust holes here and you blow into it. You breathe through the device and it will give you a reading on this display here. We'll show you in a minute of your forced vital capacity. Whoa, big medical words. Yep, that means you take a big deep breath in, you give it all you got, you blow everything out through here, and it's going to tell you your volume of air that you had inside your lungs. Now, why is that valuable? Lots of different reasons, which we'll get into. Let's take a little bit deeper look inside the box. These are a couple of additional... Um, mouthpieces so family members can use it. I think these are like five dollars for two extra, not very much. Recommend if you do uh, sign up for it, you pick up a pair of those. And then a basic charging cable here. Now an interesting thing, this does, whoa, sorry, this does not transfer data to your computer and it supposedly uh, will be able to transfer data out of it to uh, your phone and you can archive your readings in a phone app, but that's not here yet. Let's go into this Kickstarter thing so you understand what's going on. You're getting this thing if you want to pick it up really inexpensive like 40 bucks something nice to have you can get five measurements on the screen and um, then they just kind of repeat after that if you need to archive them you write them down on a piece of paper I guess like Uncle Tix would do the timeline for this thing it started a year ago at the beginning of 2021 with COVID in mind I believe uh, obviously because of our breath and what COVID does to the lungs it's a really good thing to have a baseline um, capacity for yourself and then if and when possibly you have to deal with that you can monitor yourself if you have um, uh, tightness in breath or, or difficulty breathing whatever anyway you can monitor your forced vital capacity with this device from a baseline that you can establish right now here we are 2022 we're reviewing this in January Mass production's underway. Shipment will be happening soon. Now, you notice it came in just a plain box. There's no fancy cover for it yet. There's no instruction manual for it yet. All that is still under development. So we hopefully will be doing a more in-depth review. We can call this a basic unboxing later on once all that stuff comes out. But because this is a Kickstarter, you're able to get in at these price points. Now, Early Bird, that's what they talk about. If you're one of the first ones in, there's a limited number. You can pick up the unit, the charger, and the neck, and the tip, and all that stuff for 40 bucks. Um, two of them uh, down here for 69. Once they've sold out of these, it'll be 10 bucks more. So right now. There's a few left, I think, at this. Uh, it depends on when you're watching the video. But check the link we've got for you. Early bird is 40 and uh, regular price for picking it up is a 50 And a little bit discount if you want to get two of them, you know, one for you and someone else to have uh, for uh, under 100 still. These are the rewards of getting in early. Now, there's other kind of rewards, and that comes in with stretches. This is a funding opportunity through Kickstarter, and if they sell enough of them, and uh, 
I think it's up to 40,000, almost up to 50,000 of, of people who have signed up already. They'll all make a blue color as well as black or gray and green when they hit 100,000. What we're looking for is an app. Really, honest to goodness, you got to have an app with this thing if you're going to make um, reasonable sense out of it over time. So a tethering app that will be able to transfer the data of your breath into your phone is critical in my book. Uh, and it will be available if they reach that stretch goal. If they don't, I don't know. You might just have the unit and that's all you've got. But you can definitely use it. Uh, it gives you the information. The only thing that the app does is consolidate that for you. So still useful. Enough talking. Let's play with this thing. On the back side, there's the power button. I just uh, press and hold it for a while. Hold it a little longer. You've got a digital display and some colored lights on here. The first thing you see is the last reading that I had, and it's in milliliters. So it was 2,602 milliliters. That's um, two liters, two and a half, a little over two and a half liters. So you move the decimal point three over, and that's what you're going to uh, look at for breath. Now, if I press the button again, I'll cycle through. First, I get the model number or serial number or something. And then you get, there's the first reading. Mm, it's really fast. So I'm going to have to get it to focus first. And then uh, Let's move this out of the way and then whip through this thing quickly. So watch these numbers and you put a decimal right after the, the main digit. So 2.6. Here we go. 2.6 is number one. Number two is 4.4 followed by 4.2 followed ah, gone it, by number five was 1.8 because I just did a little one. Sorry. I Hopefully, in the final design, it'll show on the screen a little bit longer. But um, there's the last five readings. You cycle through them like that, and then it cycles over again. You can just basically look at the lights, too. It looks like the uh, lights all lit up. Well, that's 1.8. I don't know. I was going to say that's representative. 4.4 is right there. 4.2 is a little lower. Anyway, they, they, they light up as you're blowing through the device, and so it, uh, it, it, it's giving you an, an indicator that we will find out about when the manual comes out on it. Uh, the numbers, what do they mean? Let me show you that. There's a little chart. Not really little. I got a great big one. This is, this is the, a professional chart that I got off of scholar.google.com. Try that sometime instead of just google.com. Yeah. Go scholar.google.com, put in spirometer, and uh, you'll get a bunch of stuff, one of which is this chart that tells you roughly what you uh, could expect in terms of lung capacity based on your age. Now, they've done that by taking males and females, 50 of them, by different height, weight, BMI, percentage of fat, all of that stuff, and divided them up by age into both categories. Then they ran lots of these tests and got their breath capacity, their forced vital capacity, right? FVC. And that's what's shown right here for the age groups for males and females. Now, there's other things in here. And as you read up and learn more about it, there's a, a special test. You blow as hard as you can for one second and you get a number. And that can tell you about constricted blood uh, breath ways and stuff. Uh, you divide that by that and you get a number. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of science to it this particular device is a very simple one for 40 bucks that gives you your forced vital capacity this number right here so you saw mr ticks running all around one point something two point something four point something uh, this is what you typically expect at your age so if you are a 50 year old brand new 50 to 59 year old you should get about four liters of air blown out plus or minus about a half so three and a half to four and a half should be about average if you're a male okay female same age about three and a quarter plus or minus about a half again okay that's how you read the numbers so when you do the actual test that i'm going to do one for you you won't really be able to see it because i got to stick it in my mouth and, and blow on it. But I'll be right back with the uh, results, and we'll see the new reading right here. I'm going to give it a go and try to give it a really good breath. <sighs> I'm catching my breath now. Uh, okay, 4.7 liters. 
almost up there at five, which ranks me as being, gosh, somewhere in my late 30s, right? 4.7. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Definitely under 40. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can't really reverse engineer from your lung capacity to your age, but you can tell if you're comparable to these different zones. Now, I don't know that they screened all these people, if, uh, whether they're smokers or um, uh, asthmatics or have other breathing issues. Uh, I think it's the general non-smoking public, but you can learn more about that. If you really want to research it, you, it's a, one of those spiraling things you can go as deep as you want to to get into it the uh, basic thing is that you are getting a reading of your force vital capacity and if you get a baseline of where you are right now let's say uh, you're a vapor or a smoker it's okay what's your choice but you can get a baseline of what your uh, vital capacity is then let's say do it for a week or so, get a good, good baseline, and then stop doing it for a week. Not the breath thing, the smoking or the vaping. A week, and then try it again and see uh, if it changes. See if you have more lung capacity. Uh, this is not, you know, the amount of oxygen your lungs can take in, which is affected by nicotine and other things, I guess. Sorry, I'm not a scientist or a medic, so <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. Um, it, w it will give you a gauge though on your overall lung capacity if you're under stress usually we have very tight breathing if you're under stress try doing it try doing some meditation or relaxation or at least some deep breathing and then do it again see if you get more lung capacity to help alleviate your overall stress there's uh, gonna be some guided um training that comes along with this with the app when it finally comes out so lots and lots of additional things you can go into beyond what the obvious is here in um, january of 2022 where am i looking at my sheet here uh and that's the onset of the omicron version of the coronavirus which is a beast there we go and that can affect some of these results as well so Hopefully, by the time you watch this, that's under control and they've got some pills out there to help if you do catch it. Uh, but right now we're at an apex of fear and uh, trauma from... Um, anyway, you know where we're at. And the best we can do is to try to make sure we are able to monitor where we are physically and take care of ourselves, whether that means uh, self-quarantining or a trip to the hospital. Um, this works with lung capacity. That's what it's for, forced vital capacity for about $40 from Kickstarter. Link in the show notes will take you over there. Use that to click through. We were at 30000 on on... Um, the first of the year on uh, New Year's Day, like I said, it's almost up to 50,000. If we push it all the way up and there's enough backers for 150,000, the app will come out for this thing and we'll be able to have a full fledged working unit. Thanks for watching, gang. I've got a lot coming. There's been a bunch of watches on the way, which is why I haven't been reviewing watches. Sorry, I know that's the theme of the channel, and I will definitely, the first one that comes in, I'm going to run here and, and Get you a review. I miss them too. I just don't have them. From before Thanksgiving, they've been caught in uh, shipping and obviously haven't even made it through Christmas. But they're on the way. They should be here soon. And I'll have some smart watches for you. Some new Android watches are in the works. Not out yet, but we'll be showing some of that this year. And of course, some more health-focused uh, devices and wearables as well. So hopefully you've subscribed. And if you can give us a like on the videos, that helps us out too. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching.